This is the unboxing of the Bose sound control hearing aids. This is the packaging that came, a thank you card, and the hearing aids themselves. Let's open them up from the bottom here. Through this tab, you can see that's how you open it up. And then we'll get into the case here, which contains the hearing aids. So it has a menu, some instructions about how to start by downloading the Bose app, inserting the batteries, and then opening up the smartphone app to follow the instructions. You can see here is a nice gray case. Let's open that up and see what we have. Here we have the hearing aids. This blue color is for the left ear. This red color is for the right ear. We'll come back to those in just a moment here in the case. All right, going through this deck, you can see all of the instructions about how to use them, how to put them in your ears, how to connect to the smartphone app and all of that. Some great instruction material. Inside of this card gives a little welcome, showing you different product support materials. Put that to the side. Now let's show what we get here. The hearing aids themselves, the sound control hearing aids. Put that right there. Also inside the box, encouraging us to lift that open. You can see it comes with a brush for cleaning, some standard size 312 hearing aid batteries, some different sizes of the rubber tips. These are typically called domes. This is the piece that goes on the end of the hearing aid. We'll keep that right here. And then we have finally an ear sizer to make sure you have the right length of the receiver wire in the ear. Looking at the hearing aids themselves, I'm holding the left ear. You can see there the nice Bose label right on the casing of the device. And then we have an up and down button here. That's typically used to change the volume we're going to open up the battery door. That's where those batteries that were mentioned before, size number 312. These batteries, you take the tab off and then you insert the battery into the hearing aid and that's how you get the power to hear and keep the device running. You can see here that the receiver wire, you can see here that the receiver wire is going from the hearing aid down into this speaker. You can see a number two there. That's signifying that this is length number two. At the end here, this rubber tip comes off like so. With hearing aids, it's very common to have a rubber tip in the ear canal. And then this piece that goes in the ear, this white piece is called an earwax filter. So if your hearing aid stops working, then you would change out this white filter. I did not see any white filters included in the case, which is somewhat surprising. So taking that off, putting that back in here, you can see that they also provide different sizes of the tips. We have size one, size two, and size three. Each of these packages comes with one size that is considered an open dome, and then a closed dome. So opening this up, we're going to check out these to show you what's going on here. Let's see here, this is a closed dome. You can see here there's very little holes in the rubber tip piece. That's considered a closed dome. And then also size one, which is their smallest size. You can see they have one that's considered an open dome. It has openings there for natural sound and air to pass through. And each size, size one, two, or three, comes with an open and a closed dome. So typically we advise our patients to go through the different sizes and see which one fits best in your ear. We want something that is snug, but not too snug and comfortable. Again here for the right ear, you can see volume control, the Bose label, this wire which sends the sound information through to the speaker and then this rubber tip that goes in your ear canal. Down here is this battery door. 
opening this battery door will allow you to put in a new battery and I'll show you how that works just to make sure that you're able to put in a new battery. From the back of this battery tab you take the battery out like this. These tabs you remove and you typically give it one minute to activate. It's activated through air. It's a zinc air activated battery and then you take the hearing aid opening the battery door we're going to put this battery in the device just like that and then as soon as we close this now the hearing aid is on and it is using battery let's imagine that you put it in your ear and you wear it for numerous hours then we're going to open the battery door this turns off the hearing aid and then you put the hearing aid back in here to keep it in this nice case as you remember I took off the rubber tip for the left ear so let's put back on this size 2 rubber tip and to put it on with your one hand you hold the piece nice and tight and with the other hand you insert it into this part of the device just like that get it nice and secure and then you press it with the reverse direction just to make sure that's on there nice and tight and secure once it is then your hearing aid is set up ready to go. You can put it in your ears. I showed you how to change the battery already. These buttons here are for how to change the volume. If you tap this button, it will make this left hearing aid go louder. And if you tap the button here, it will make that left hearing aid go softer. We also advise connecting these hearing aids to your smartphone. So in the instructions that are given, it's going to show us how to connect the devices to your smartphone and as you can see here from the app you're able to adjust the overall volume which is bass mids and treble together and then on the right side you're able to adjust the clarity which is just the treble information so this is a nice user manual which you can read at your own time it goes over things like how to put it in your ear properly how to adjust the overall volume how to adjust the treble sounds treble and bass, and some other features for balancing the hearing aids. Now, if you are asked by Bose to change the receiver wire, which is this piece up in the top of your ear, then we're going to try to take off this receiver wire. But as you can see, you have to be a little careful. You don't want to remove it completely from the device. So you can just pop it off like that, and that's how you change the receiver wire this is a length two. Let's imagine that you put this up to your ear and this part goes over the ear and then wherever this number, wherever the top of the opening of your ear canal lines up, whether that's number one, number two, or number three, that is where you will size the appropriate length for this receiver wire. As you remember, we found that this was receiver wire length number two. So imagine if you have a smaller ear or a larger ear, then you might be a better size at number one, which is smaller, or number three, which is larger or longer, in which case you would have to pop off the left side as we just did, and then plug it back in so that it's nice and secure on your ear. To test that it's on properly, give it a little tug in the reverse direction, and then make sure that you can hear well from the device. Again, to take it off, you put your fingernail or something, a similar object in there, and you remove it like so. And then you match the blue with the blue. And if you input it properly, it should snap right back, just like that. Test it out, okay, that's on nice and secure. That's how you change the receiver wire. Occasionally, these receiver wires do break and we specialize in, re in removing them, replacing them, troubleshooting them. If some part of this hearing aid is going to break or need service, reach out to us, we'll be able to help you. But it's usually changing the earwax filter, which is this white part of the hearing aid, because that can collect earwax. And the Bose hearing aid did not include an earwax filter so reach out to us. We'll be able to help you to find the right filter and make sure you get your hearing aids working well. 
Again, if it's not the earwax filter that's something going wrong, then either check the battery by replacing the battery, making sure you have good clean batteries, or popping off this receiver wire and changing it for a new one that we would have sent to you, or Bose, the company, would have sent to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel where we cover the Bose hearing aids as well as many other technologies and brands that can help you. You can reach out to us. We specialize in the different online hearing aids as well as all of the technology solutions that can help you with hearing loss or tinnitus. Please reach out to us and we are here to help. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.